conflict is something we, we want to run away from whenever possible. Most people don't enjoy it at all. But it really does provide opportunity. It, it's almost like a, a fire moving through a forest. You can burn off a lot of the undergrowth and, and clear the ground for further for growth. Uh, we see a lot of that in Montana. And, and I've seen situations in churches or in marriages that things are going along okay, but there was a lot of superficial relationships going on. People were really sharing what's deep in their hearts, their fears, their concerns, their desires. They're just putting on an appearance, sort of a, a superficial getting along. And it, when conflict comes in, it, it's just like a fire starts burning there and things come to the surface. Uh, people start really recognizing things in their hearts they hadn't been honest about, desires, uh, demands, cravings there that they're holding against other people, judging them from. Uh, they start seeing how selfish they are. And conflict is a way of God really putting a mirror right up close to our face and allowing us to see some things in ourselves that really do need to be changed. And so in that, and it depends on how we, we relate to each other, if we go into conflict just to tear the other person down and rip them apart, not much good comes out of that. But when people learn how to, to confront in love, how to confess, to have hope that confession does lead not only to forgiveness, but to God working in our lives to help us to change and to grow, then we can say, you know, this is, it's, it's a purifying, pruning process that God brings into our lives. And so there are a lot of marriages I've been involved in where people were actually on the brink of a divorce. They came to that much of a crisis point. And then through conflict, they began to see the things that God was calling them to change and completely reorient their priorities, their focus on the Lord, their spiritual relationship with each other, and come out of that thing closer, more intimately connected than they ever were before. Um, most people would not want to go back into that conflict again. It's like the Marine Corps. You're glad you did it. You don't want to go through it again. Uh, but those are the conflicts that transform our lives, change us, and bring us closer to each other. So we can have a positive attitude. We can trust that God is always up to something good, even in the midst of a conflict.